Day two out right here in fabulous Ocean City. Let's see what the weather feels like out here. Oh, the beach, the beach is beautiful. Coastal highway still doesn't ain't like how it used to be, but uh, you know. We'll find out tonight, this is Friday night. Thursday night was a little bit uh, of a disappointment, but <clears throat> good amount of cars and all, but you know, just wasn't like I'm used to it being out here. So we're gonna see how uh, how this is gonna roll today with these cars in Coastal Highway. Good old, good old police officer, serving and protecting. Trailers. All right, let's get this day started. Out here, Coastal Highway, Fort Crucial RC. I hear my father in law, he's taxing me around. I'm doing it. <laughs> you, want me to, you want me to light him up? <laughs> <laughs> That's an inside joke. <laughs> Sitting out here in this traffic. We should, we should post up the bikes up. Bunch of uh, Mustangs. You can just hear all the exhaust and all the uh, horsepower on the street right now. Okay, hold it. Okay, I got you. Okay. All right, man. That's nice, man. What's up? City on Coastal Highway. Watching these cars go by, acting like a fool. Not too much like a fool, though. The police ain't playing out here. Got my shirt on. VA power drug of choice. Let's see what I'm gonna find.
City Coastal Highway. Following my pop. Taking this trip down to the convention center.
I'm yeah. talking about. Using the bed for real carrying stuff. Beautiful truck. And it's a Ford with a Chevy engine. Got the hammers on the Chevelle Malibu. I haven't seen them things in years. True American racing hammers. A small block Chevy in there. Beautiful car. Second day at the convention center. Hit some shots over here at the uh, parking lot. Um, a little bit less of a turnout than the last time I was out here two years ago, but nonetheless, some beautiful cars. And um, the rain's starting to come in a little bit. A little drizzle, I think it's gonna blow over, but so far, I mean, it wasn't bad. I had a scooter out here, got me out here. Me and my father-in-law, you know, with dad. Out here uh, on the scooter, dad on the bike. Went inside the convention center, it wasn't bad. But uh, all in all, so far, all right. We're gonna get out of here though. Maybe catch a burger or something. Let's see what's going on uh, in a couple of these parking lots. All right. Alright, 
Finally made it. Finally made it about down. Two this days job. late, but I'm here. <laughs> about to get something to eat. About to head up in uh, Three Brothers. A lot of CTSVs out here too. Yeah. All right, let me explain something about Ocean City Cruise Week. Some of you guys ain't never been here, but I've been here probably three times in the past. I usually come like every two years or so. I come out here for the recklessness that happens in these streets. I know that's bad to say, but uh. That's why I come. I mean, you can go basically anywhere in Maryland on a Saturday, anywhere in Virginia on a Saturday, and go to a car show. Now, the car show that's out here at the convention center, at the inlet, is, you know, it's awesome. You know, I think they said something like 50,000 cars coming through here. Um, now, we went to the the convention center yesterday and uh, it was probably three quarters of the cars well yesterday was sat was Friday I said it's Saturday now um, it was probably three quarters of the car cars that showed up on Friday afternoon so all the spaces weren't even taken up at the convention center um, traffic is off the hook today I'm trying to get down to the inlet we're hearing it's taking like 35 45 minutes to get down like 20 blocks from 70th Street down to like 50th Street. So I'm not even sure if we're gonna go down there. But back to what I was saying, the reason why I come to this cruise week is because it is usually off the hook on Coastal Highway. Um, the cars are driving, you know, from light to light lighten it up you can edge them on say hey you know light them up light them up and they'll smoke the tires i've seen some guys do donuts in the street and for years this has been okay um last year i think some a pedestrian got might have got not last year I think it was two years ago or something a pedestrian got um, might have got hit by a car and uh the the city decided to come down with a strict ban on it they had to do a bunch of voting on it I think the governor approved it and um you know it's just been in the works now like i said they have a, a, a special event zone which is taking the speed limit in the streets down from 40 miles an hour to 30 miles an hour everywhere in the city um even coming in through the gateway across the bridge into the city they, they uh dropped the speed limit down Unfortunately, I mean, I guess it, you know, I guess between the speed limit being dropped down and the amount of police is out here, because the police are off the hook, uh, you know, it just, it, it killed the fun for me. Like I said, luckily I've been here before. I've scratched this off my bucket list a couple years to come out here. I used to tell everybody, man, if anybody's in the cars, come out here 
and see this because this is something that's crazy. I mean, like, so you see these show cars, these track cars going up and down coastal highway. I mean, and just acting fools out here. Like I said, and I guess usually nobody gets hurt, but I, you know, all it takes is you know one tragic incident, and you know, I guess they got to do what they got to do. So I got to respect them for that. But um, I, it's just it's not the same for me anymore. So I, this this may be it for me for uh, Ocean City Cruise Week. You know, had I not seen what it was like before this, I might be like, oh yeah, this is alright, but right now this is weak um i used to not be able to sleep in my room because everybody's doing burnouts and stuff at night nighttime was off the hook but now i woke up you know wake up middle of the night or something go to the bathroom you don't hear nothing nothing going on out here the police have done their job of what they wanted to do you know i talked to a couple of the waitresses in the, in the hotel rooms and the restaurants or whatever and they all were you know they they seem like they don't like it you know the fact that you know this one week of uh cruise week you know this, this is big money for them and you know i've noticed that there's a whole lot less cars out here um a whole lot less spectators i was even told i went to go get a, a t-shirt for my daughter and um the guy the, the clerk up there was telling me that if you out here and and you egging on somebody to do the burnout and the police see you egg that person you know edge that person want to do the burnout or act reckless out here he gonna pull the driver over give him a ticket a $500 ticket and then he gonna give the spectator that edged them on a $500 ticket so I mean like I said this is just a whole new era out here now so like all good things come to an end I think this might be it for me for this event so I don't know, maybe I'll hit Carlisle up or something and shoot some video up there. You know, I've been there before too, but you know, you know, this is swap meet, GM National, Corvette National, whatever. But uh, like I said, uh, that's it for me. I think, I think so. Oh well, like I said, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Uh, comment below, tell me what you think. If y'all, if y'all been out here before, and this is the first time for y'all. Or, you know, you've been out here in the past and you see how this event uh, zone is now. Let me know what you guys think. Alright, so, that being said, you know, I couldn't even get that much footage together for a part two and a part three. Or day two and day three like I wanted to do. So, I just combined the two. And, uh, you know, go ahead and look at the rest of this. Alright, cool for all see. I'm out. That Lambo sounds sick too. So I'm doing burnout, y'all. Yeah? Right, look, you see my hand in my mind. Pop me on the uh, scooter jump. <laughs> on the scooter jump. I'm on it. <laughs> this is more excitement right here than the uh, actual event. Uh-oh, uh -oh. we did it. You see that? <laughs> I, I, I can deal with it. <laughs>